Hi and welcome to the video. In this video I'm just going to try and show you how you can find the records you need if you're using external DNS and you need to point it towards fast hosts. Now it can be a little bit daunting if you don't really understand DNS too much. Don't worry our support teams are here to help and if you're using another provider I'm sure their support teams will also be able to help you. But what you might struggle with is where to find the actual records you need. Uh, so I've only got a FastSoS account and domains registered with FastSoS at the moment, which is nice and easy because in that sense, we would look after everything. However, if you have a domain name that is registered with another provider or you have your DNS managed with another provider, you need to point that towards FastSoS. If you have email with us or any kind of like web server, uh, sort of any package with us, you might need to point that DNS. So let's try and give you a little bit of an overview of what I mean. Now, if I'm in FastSoS and I go to domain names, I go to one of my active domains here, fastsoswebinars.com. Now at the moment, the name servers are set to the fastsoast ones, ns1.livedns.co.uk, ns2.livedns.co.uk, and ns3.livedns.co.uk. If you've got a domain name registered elsewhere and you have no other services with any other provider, so you don't use anyone else for email on that domain or any other kind of services, the easiest way to point all your DNS to fastsoast is to use these name servers. So go to your existing domain provider and ask them to change the name Name servers to these records here and that one more is just ns3.livedns.co.uk that's the easiest way and then all your um will manage everything from there because you're using our name servers will automatically update all your dns however you might find yourself in a situation where you've got your domain name with another provider and you also have another service so for example if your uh, domain was registered with wix and you've got a wix website but you wanted to use us for um, for email for example you would need to find the records for that now if it's for email We've got a guide here, uh, and I'll link this in the video description. Uh, we've got all of our IP addresses listed in here for our sort of top level things like email. So it says there what I've just said, the easiest way to think, the easiest thing to do is change your name servers. However, if you are in a situation where you can't do that because you don't want to break any of your existing services, there is at the bottom of this guide, a list of all the records that you might need. So it's got uh, mail, the mail IP address and all of the records you might need. Very useful resource. Uh, as I said, I'll link that in the description. So if you're changing, just if you're just doing email, fine, you can just use this. However, if you've got an individual service like a website, all the IP addresses are different because there are lots and lots of servers, so we can't list them all there. In that situation, and I'll just go back to my dashboard so I can show you. If you need to find the IP address for an individual service, like a website or something like that, if we go to the package, and I've got quite a few of my accounts, I can show you a couple. So for example, if we go with just this Ignite package here, in the package overview, you're gonna see the website, web server IP address. So if you change the DNS records for www.yourdomain.com, that is the IP address you would need to give to your existing provider. If you've got a WordPress hosting package with us, for example, if we just go into that, you would be able to find it in here. And if we just go down to the advanced options, You've got the um, some of the IP addresses here, and you've got the uh, the MySQL database options there, and also just a straight an IP address is just here under DNS settings. So it's a little bit more hidden for WordPress, but it's just under this advanced options here, uh, and you can find all the IP addresses you need, and. Uh, you can use them to update your records with your existing provider can be a little bit confusing please please contact our support teams if you need help with it that is what we're here for and it can be a bit frustrating if you don't really understand what you're doing um what seems simple to us might not seem simple to you so we're, we're here for you if you need our help we won't be able to update your settings with your existing provider if you're not using our name servers but we can certainly provide you with what the records you need to go to them and say these are the records fastest of advising with can you help me update them please and that is all there is to it thank you very much for watching goodbye for now